All right, team. I've heard a lot of questions about who do we attack and how do we know if we can attack them. Some of the alliance rules that we have right now are no attacking top 40s. And the other one is kind of like the uh, don't write bogus hot checks effect. Don't go and attack somebody if you can't take the consequences back. So I'm going to show you guys what to look for. First thing you're going to do is go to your map view number three. And you're going to find a city that you can attack. <clears throat> Let's try somebody small. Let's try this guy. Immortal Victory. You want to look for a couple of things. <clears throat> what level is the person? How much might do they have? And are they in an alliance or not? This guy is only level 10. He has almost no might. But he is in an alliance. So the first thing you need to do is check how big their alliance is. Just because this guy has low might doesn't mean that his alliance isn't a really big alliance and he's just a small player. Every group has small players. You try to protect them and help them grow. So let's check these people out. You don't know whether their group is big or not and you want to know whether you can attack them. So let's check them out. Immortal Victory. Please remember where the caps are on people's alliance names and how to spell it. You're going to go to your alliance tab. You're going to choose alliances and you're going to type in their name. and press search. What this is going to do is tell you the name of their alliance and make for sure that it's right, how many members they have and how much might that alliance has. The number one over here does not mean that they're the number one alliance. It only means that it brought up one search for what you queued in. <clears throat> you notice quickly that these guys only have one and a half million might. That's not very much guys. So I'm thinking I have two and a half million might of my own. Your might will be different than me. You might have less, you might have more. So check out how much their might is. This is an entire group, not how much that player has. Remember, the player only had 12,000. Their entire group of only 26 people has one and a half million. So I'm thinking if I attack these guys, I have a really decent chance of coming out with some good resources or winning. And if they were to attack back, I have a really good chance of winning the attack back. So Immortal Victory. You want to find out how far down the list is Immortal Victory. Then let's find out. You know, because even, even if you don't know how much might is good or bad, then check it. Immortal Victory with one and a half million. You press the X to go back to all alliances. And you will scroll over until you find... Oop, not the very last page. You will scroll over until you find the right page with 1.5 million. Notice we're like in uh, 18 and so on. This is 18 million. We're trying to go down to one and a half million. One point five. So we're almost there. Immortal Victory, Alliance number 250. They are a long ways down the list. So I'm thinking, if our group is number 30-something, which it is right now, and their group is number 250, that if they have good resources, that it's worth farming, and they're this far down on the list, it's a good one to attack. So let's go back. Now that we found out that who their alliance is because even if they're a small player they might have a big alliance we found out how to do that and we've checked and their alliance is a nothing we want to make for sure if they have good resources so let's scout them give it just a few seconds to scout we're gonna return back to our home city view
and give it a few seconds to return the scouting report. Guys, just remember that when you're scouting, the higher level of eagle eyes that you have gives you better detailed information. And that if you have a lower level of information like Eagle Eyes, you may not know everything that they have. So please make for sure that your Eagle Eyes is upgraded. Here's our scout report. It's telling us that they have a few troops. So if they have their gates open for their troops to fight, I may have to fight a couple thousand troops. Not bad. They're all tier one. We're noticing that in between the troops and their building levels that they have no wall defenses. That's something else that you need to look for when you're attacking. No wall defenses, small troops. You're also looking for how much resources they have. I'm noticing that they have 100,000, almost 300,000, 150, and 110,000 of these resources. You also need to see what level their storehouse is. Remember, every level higher their storehouse goes, it protects another 100,000 resources. So you want to make for sure that in between, if they have wall defenses, how many troops that you might lose if you fight them, that the resources is worth it. I'm thinking that these guys are not having their troops defend their walls, and that with no wall defenses, and it's only uh, covering 100,000 of each resource, I'm going to go ahead and attack them, because I'm going to at least get a few hundred thousand in resources back. Low level player, low level alliance, almost no defenses. This sounds like a pretty good attack for me. Let's attack them guys. Go back. I'm gonna press attack. They only had a few thousand tier one so let's make for sure that we're sending plenty of wagons or carts to pick up the resources and make for sure that you send plenty of troops to knock down anything that they have. Well, they had a few thousand, so let's double that. You can't lose with double. Now, it shouldn't take just a few seconds, and we'll see what a small attack can do for you when you've done your homework. You've not only checked out their might, you've checked out their alliance, you've made for sure that their alliance isn't too big for you, and you've made for sure that, it, that the resources that you're trying to get are worth your time. When you've done your homework, you shouldn't have to worry about getting attacked back. Or if you do get attacked back, it should be easy to kill many members of their alliance. My attack is finished. Let's check out what happened. I, in return, got 100,000 in gold only 62,000 of food, but I got almost a million in wood, a half million in stone, and almost a half million in ore. Score. What a good attack. I pulled back almost two and a half million in resources, and I lost absolutely no players. They fought with zero. Like I said, I didn't think that their troops would defend their walls, but even if they did, I, saw, I sent plenty of tier two troops to kill them off. And I'm banking on their resources. The massive amount of troops that I sent in more than covered everything to take plenty of resources back. Guys, if you'll take a few minutes to do your homework, you'll notice that good things will come your way. That's all I've got to show for how do you attack and who do you attack. Tune in for more next time on different subjects.